Greetings from the Community Church of Dayville, Oregon. This short video will be an interim update until I can do another full week in review when I get to Boise in a few days. Uh, since Bend, we've been to Prineville, Mitchell, and now Dayville, Oregon, 35 to 45 miles each day. A um, little bit less than I'd maybe hoped for, but given the challenging terrain, I'm thrilled that we've done this well. Um, there's a Boy Scout tradition called Thorns and Roses that I'm going to invoke, which means that at the end of every adventure, you go around the room and every scout says what they liked most, what they liked least, and maybe a bud, what they'd like to see coming up in the near future. So I'm going to do thorns, roses, and buds about the last few days of the trip since we left Bend. Um, my roses are about Oregon. Wow. The scenery has been breathtaking. Um, every 40 or 50 miles, it's like we're in a whole new world. Um, the high desert, the dense forests, the streams, the blue sky, the scenery has just been indescribable. And I'll do my best to document it some when I do a full video, but wow. Also, the people of Oregon have been just amazing. Not just the people who live here, but the people we've met passing through have been kind and generous and warm. And I just can't say enough about the people we've met in the stores, the cafes, the places where we've stayed overnight, campgrounds, hostel, now in a church, just really, really wonderful. And I can't say enough about that. Um, the weather has also been good. Um, lows in the 40s or, yeah, 40s. Highs in the 70s, touching 80. Not bad at all. It's been windy, gusts up to 34 miles an hour as side winds or cross winds sometimes, um, which has made it harrowing on a bicycle on a narrow shoulder with fast moving traffic. Um, and that takes me to the next idea, which is the thorns. And my biggest thorn is that I've been frightened on the roads a lot. Um, it's not that the hills are so steep. I expected that. That's just something you deal with. If I have to, I get off and walk my bike. That's been challenging, but not unexpected. I didn't expect um, the shoulders to be so narrow in some points with the trucks so close around corners, and these roads are often very windy, um, and the crosswinds, again, at 30-some miles an hour, when there's a truck coming by and you're trying to, it, it can be frightening. But um, hopefully we'll get past that in the next state or two at the worst. I know we're gonna be on rails to trails for a lot of this trip, and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so a bud, something like I'm looking forward to. We've only got one more really big climb of several thousand feet before we head kind of south, southeast towards Boise. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward to that climb. I'm looking forward to get, getting past that climb and much more manageable roads down into Boise. And I hope there'll be less traffic and less crosswinds and all that sort of stuff. But I haven't even looked at the forecast for tomorrow. So I can't say about that for sure. Um, Boise, I'll be checking in with my friend Steve Bryan, uh, one of my roommates in college who I haven't seen in 50 years. I'm really looking forward to seeing Steve. Uh, and shortly thereafter, I think Bob Queen and also an old college roommate, both of whom somehow ended up in Oregon. So that's a real bud that I'm looking forward to seeing those guys. So um, we've been going through pass after pass after pass, um, climb, climb, climb down the steepest climbs of my life the longest downhills of my life. Um, and that's part of this great adventure. And it has been an adventure. Um, some things tougher than I expected, but I expected there to be things that were tougher than I expected. So um, onward and uh, I'll see you in Boise. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.